Chris Hall here with Turfs Up Landscaping. And this video is gonna be a little different, guys. So I actually got a question from one of my subscribers. Special thanks to Ron M. And I appreciate all of you guys, all of my subscribers for taking the time out and watching. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. So I'll read the question that he asked me as follows. Getting it in as usual, nice. Random question. I haven't seen you speak on this in your videos, but how do you protect your equipment during the day against thieves? It seems to be a common problem with stuff being stolen. And have you seen or ran into this issue? So guys, I figured the best way for me to do this is just to answer his question in the way that it was received. So he asked, how do I protect my equipment during the day? Guys, I'm always on edge. I'm always looking over my left shoulder and I'm always looking over my right shoulder. Anytime that you're doing landscaping work or lawn care work, or you're working outside, period, I feel like it's very important, man, that you are aware of your surroundings, you know? Um, I have PTSD. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But I have PTSD, man. Anytime I'm out there cutting on working, I'm always taking a glance at my truck, you know? Um, I'll stop and just walk back there just to make sure everything is everything. There's no squatters um, or, or no homeless people hanging around my truck. Nobody that's around my truck that shouldn't be, you know? Um, those are the, the sort of things that I watch for throughout the day when I'm going from job to job. Especially hats off to you, you big guys out there um, that's doing 16 plus yards a day. Um, that's tough, that's tough. And for me, none of my equipment is locked down. You know, you see some guys, they have locks on their trailers so they can lock their weed eaters down and um, that sort of stuff. But for me, I don't have none of that. So every so often, man, I'll take the time and I'll walk back over to my truck just to make sure nobody's hanging out around. It's the same way that I left it. So he made the comment, that it seems to be an issue with people getting their equipment stolen. And I would say 100%, guys, 100%. When I first got into the business, I was working alongside this guy, just learning weed eating, blowing, tree trimming, that sort of thing. And he cut the yard and he came back to grab the weed eater and it was gone. It was gone just like that. And it could take just a matter of seconds, man, and your equipment can be gone. So. I would just say as a tip, anytime you're out there working, just take the time and glance back at your equipment, glance at your setup, you know? Make sure that everything is there. There's nobody hanging out around your truck that shouldn't be. And I even have to um, bring this up. Some of the guys in the comments would, would, would say to me, hey, Chris, watch out for your mower. Don't leave it running, you know, anything could happen. And which is so true, that is so true. If I leave my mower running, she's going to be right beside me. I'm, I'm, I don't walk off like I used to, you know, because you, you just never know. You never know. So I appreciate that, guys. That, that really helped me out. I no longer do that. Um, I won't walk away from my running mower because you, you just never know. You never know. And um, I know this other guy, man, he had his enclosed trailer uh, stolen. Real nice. Real nice. He had just bought it, too. Um, he doesn't have a lawn care landscaping business, but he does have a pretty nice size yard and he will cut the yards to friend and family members. So he has a setup. He has a setup. And he told me one night, him being lazy, he'll usually back the trailer in and turn it around, but this time he didn't do it. He just backed it straight into the driveway. And sometime throughout the course of the night, somebody came and they hooked up and they took the entire setup they took everything and the thing about those enclosed trailers you can't leave all of your equipment in there uh, you can lock up your mowers your, your blower your weed eater everything uh, so that's the good thing about having those enclosed trailers you necessarily don't have to break anything down but um but yeah guys they they had just pulled up and they hooked up and they they, they took his trailer just like that in a matter of seconds it, it was gone and he didn't notice it until the next morning. So um, luckily he was able to get it back. He was able to get it back. Special thanks to the uh, Winston-Salem PD. But um, it, it, it happens, guys, it, it happens. 
So guys, I can't speak on this from personal experience. Last August, I, I had a lady steal my truck mid-job. I had finished up the cutting, and as I got ready to weed deed, and when I walked around the house, I look out the corner of my eye, and I see my truck going down the street. So I, I took off running. I took off running, and I did have the weed deeder in my hand, and I attempted to throw the weed deeder through the window just to kind of throw off a little bit, but that was unsuccessful, guys. That was unsuccessful. They, they found my truck all the way in West Virginia. It's a blessing in the skies. I, I, I thank God for it all the time and for all of my equipment, honestly. Um, I left my keys inside of my truck. My, my mental really wasn't all the way there. Uh, I was thinking about my pops at the time. So some things I just wasn't thinking clearly on. Um, and I would just say as a tip, anytime you, you come out here, guys, do your best to put everything else aside and focus on cutting or focus on mulching, whatever you're doing at that current time, focus on that and just try to leave the other stuff alone. Uh, reason being because if you don't, uh, it'll transfer over into your work. And when it transfers over into your work, that's when you start making mistakes. And that's just how, how I learned it. So I would just say be, be mindful of that. At the time when my truck was stolen, I had a full setup, guys. I had the zero turn hooked up to the trailer, blower on the back of the truck, and also I had the pole saw. And check this out. The tailgate was down because, as I mentioned, I'm mid-job. I'm mid-job, so I'm grabbing stuff, you know. I got, the, tail, I got the, the tailgate down so I can easily access. The tailgate was down. I had a $300 blower on the back and also a $300 pole saw. And luckily, I was able to get both of those back. That blower and that pole saw hung on for the ride to West Virginia. She put the cops on the high-speed chase, guys. I kid you not. I can't make this stuff up. She put the cops on the high-speed chase, and that blower and the pole saw, it hung on with the, with the tailgate down. And I'll tell you what saved it. One of my buddies had did a refrigerator job, and I had a dolly back there. And I had the blower sitting in the grooves of the dolly. And that's what kept it secure all the way to West Virginia. I'm in beautiful North Carolina. That's four hours away from where we currently are right now. Four hours away, guys. And not only that, but as I mentioned, I had the zero turn hooked up too and the trailer. So when she made the turn, the trailer and the zero turn flipped. It, it completely rolled, guys. And it was close to hitting me because I mentioned I tried to throw the, the weed eater at her to throw her off. And after that happened, I knew I needed to step back before I hurt myself. But um, it, it happens. It does. And it, it happened so fast. It happened so fast. I didn't even have time to to do do much, you know, because it, it won't take long. She saw them keys in that truck and, and she knew she had to go somewhere and she hopped in it, you know. So it don't take long, guys. It don't take long. So when you out there, just take a quick little second to peep at your truck you know make sure everything's everything all your equipment is there uh, especially when you're cutting in the neighborhoods that i'm cutting in if if you are cutting in a lot of the hood areas or or are you around areas that's i really don't like using the word hood but if you're around areas that's not so good definitely be on edge when you go to, go go to those areas you know um just because you know how things get down over there just here recently about two months ago my trailer was actually hit um it was early saturday morning maybe four o'clock 3 30 somewhere around there and i get a knock at the door i'm like man what is going on you know it's late i'm trying to get some beauty sleep and i hear some some bamming at the door and this lady had ran into my trailer like guys when i tell you she hit that sucker hard and i have this was prior to the ref the reflector plates that I have on there now. You see I have the reflectors on there, so hopefully they can see it. And I also sit the cone in the road every day, every day. It's, it's there every day. As soon as I unload, I place it so they can so they can see the trailer coming up the street. God, she completely jackknifed the trailer. She spent it all the way around. Um, but luckily, I was able to repair it. Um, that's why, guys, sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. All of my buddies, man, 
shout out to him, special thanks to him. I called my buddy up and we was able to fix the railings on the trailer and also switch out the tire. The tire was completely busted. So I had to re replace the tire on it. We put a new tire on there and we fixed the, the railings of the trailer with some new screws to, to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And uh, now it's good to go. But honestly guys, my plan is to get a new trailer uh, here, here soon anyway. I'm gonna spend probably 2,000 or uh, 1,900, something like that on it. But uh, a new trailer is definitely coming soon. But it, it, it happens, man, it does. Ron asked me how do I protect my equipment during the day. And so here we have a chainsaw, blower, and a weed eater. And when you hopping on and off the truck, you grabbing equipment, you walk away, you never know. Uh, something could be gone when you get back. So I'll show you how I protect my equipment during the day. Chain in a lock. Chain in a lock. So what I'll do is I'll take this chain and I'll fish it through and I'll just lock it down the best way I can. That's a good way to uh, just keep your stuff locked when you're not using it. People can still take it, but at least this way, uh, you'll make it a little bit harder for them. And as you see, there's a tarp. I keep a tarp on the truck at all times just for cleanups or you know whatever the case may be. But the main reason is to cover my equipment when I'm not using it. And I'll show you what that looks like. As you see, I have the chain and the lock around all three of the equipment is looped through. And I would say this can work for whatever you have, you know. Um, if you have more equipment, just get you a bigger chain, I would recommend. But as you see, everything is locked down. So they would have to take all three before they take one, which is possible, which is highly possible. They couldn't just take all three and run off with the whole bundle, but at least make it hard for them. And guys, check this out. If any of you guys that have any um, loops on your truck, you can run you a... Um, a longer chain and if you wrap it around that they definitely can't get it then so uh, that's just something to keep in mind but yeah this is how i do it guys wrap it up just like this put a chain on it with a lock and that way at least you know it's secured so anytime i'm out if i have to stop at the store or anything like that this is what i do tarp it down throw the tarp over top ah there we go So that way, you know, hopefully people will think that it's nothing back there, you know. And if they do reveal it, they do throw your top off. Now it's locked down. Now it's locked down. So we're going to make it hard for them. We are going to make it hard for them. That's, that's the name of the game. And like I said, guys, if, if I had a longer chain, you could run the chain from here and latch everything and then have your lock here. Uh, that way to give you a little bit more room and uh, it's actually tied down to the truck. So it'll really make it uh, hard for them. But, but yeah, guys, this is how I do it, Ron. This is how I do it. Just lock everything up. And like I said, I always keep a tarp with me. So anything I'm not using, I'll try to cover it up just so it looks like nothing's there. But that's how I do it. Let me know in the comments how you guys protect your equipment. I would highly recommend getting some type of lock for your trailer or buying an official trailer lock. I don't have a real trailer lock, but right now, this will do. Invest in the trailer lock. 